Hi, welcome to another episode of Hawaii IRL. I am in the kitchen at Aziza, and we're going to meet uh, Chris Kajioka, who is CK Cuisine on Twitter. So, let's see where he is. Oh, uh, there he is. How's okay. Good, everybody? <laughs> so, uh, today we're just going to do a little ocean trout. It's uh, an app on our menu, and it's going to be basically we cook ocean trout uh, very slow in olive oil, funky style. Uh -huh. It's going to be served with uh, radishes, all different ways. So we have uh, oh, all different colors. braised radishes, pickled radishes, compressed, and these are some green almonds. Oh, nice. So uh, I'll take this one. We're really cooking. What are these things? These are, these are dates uh -huh. that, are, that are rolled, and then they're, um, we make a black olive crumble. So it's basically uh, black olives cooked in vanilla, sugar, and dehydrated overnight, and wow. then we chop it up. Wow. Yeah, so. This is basically the, the bottom sauce. It's a smoked onion puree. Very artful. And the, the trial, we just hit it with a little bit of a uh, a little bit of butter cell and uh, lemon zest. And these, all our, pretty much all our vegetables, they, they get dressed in just lemon juice and olive oil. So is this one of your signature um, appetizers? I've been changing it all the time. Oh. This is, this is one of the dishes I put on probably about three weeks ago. So. Now, your thing is fish, right? You're yeah. you're the fish guy. <laughs> I I mean I love I love fish, I love cutting fish, so I guess yeah. <laughs> so basically we don't try to like stack food, we try to lay it out uh -huh. easily so it, it really shines. So we always when we season something we always put it on a on a drain plate just so okay. the extra olive oil and I mean, these don't get all in the plate. Oh, okay. So it's nice and tight. So basically, we're just, there's no there's no rhyme or reason here. We're just trying to make a beautiful salad. So every time you make a plate, it'll look different. Yeah, we, we try try to keep it, you know, pretty pretty consistent. It's a standard. But, but yeah. you know, with the amounts anyway, but can every plate's not going to look exactly the way. Now, how long have you worked here at Aziza? It's been, I got here in January, so it's been six months. So wow. Long, but, so. And how did you find Aziza? How did I find Aziza? Aziza has a, it's a really good reputation in San Francisco. And mm -hmm. you know, I previously worked here for Ron Siegel. So I, I came here in last, last November and uh, you know, interviewed with a bunch of people, and I just felt that Aziza had unbelievable potential. So why not? I I don't know anything about Moroccan cuisine. I'm not saying that we do traditional Moroccan pan cuisines. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it, it's exciting to learn new flavors. So basically, these are just shaved raw radishes. So we're just trying to make it make it stand out. And these are some uh, fried shallots. Uh -huh. Just a little, little bit of texture, a little bit of earthiness. How do you guys decide which ingredients go into your stuff? It's all seasonal, right? It's seasonal. Right. So, I mean, California, this is what's fun about cooking in San Francisco, you know? We have, we have by far the best, I think the best ingredients, especially me cooking in New York, too. I, I saw the, the real difference. So these are just some... Uh, Box. So pretty Isn't much like I a fishing say, tackle box. Yeah, <laughs> I would say eighty percent of the stuff that we garnish with, we forage, which means we go really? out, we go out in the wild, in the in the park, and you know, uh, a lot of things people say that these are flowers, but uh -huh. they they make sense because they have really good flavor, you know. So 
These are actually radish flowers. So it oh. makes sense for a radish salad yeah. to have radish flowers. These are borage. I mean, look how beautiful they are. Nice. So these don't just look pretty, but they make sense. So I think that's important. Wow. Now, do the radish flowers taste like the radish? It's exactly or? radish. Oh. Probably, probably more intense, actually. Wow, they're just so pretty. I think since this, this is a first course, it needs to it needs to pop a little bit more. What else do you use these flowers in? We use them pretty much on, on every dish gets garnished with, with something. You know, if it's if it's a flower or an herb, it just it just needs to make sense. That is gorgeous. And then we also have some uh, nasturtium. So these are green nasturtiums, these are the flowers. Black olive on the plate. Very nice. And then this is a this is kind of the dressing. So it's, it's curry. It's oh. cooked down. It's curry. Uh, it's the uh, we call it an agri It's uh, kind of like a sweet and sour. You would eat curry. Yeah. So you can kind of tell there's a little bit of that Moroccan flair curry with the dates, smoked onions. So we just kind of nappy the fish. Just like that. But again, that, oh, this, so is, this is a this is a pretty fresh dish. Yeah. So that's basically our our ocean trout. Nice. Smoky style with uh, radishes, smoked onions, and crispy shallots at uh, Aziza San Francisco. And so you guys are only open for dinner, right? We're only open for dinner and we're closed on Tuesdays. On what? On, on Tuesdays. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so. come visit. Good to know. Make sure you visit them at Aziza SF. They're in, they're on 5800 Geary, and they're going to be moving soon. So be watching their website for that. Okay.